So, uh, my name's Ryan Kitchen. I'm a black belt, believe it or not. I've uh, been training since 2007, so that's 15 years now. Uh, the thing I would say most about my jiu-jitsu journey, pretty much actually what it says on my belt, this is half the reason I haven't thrown it out. It says 100% made in cotton, or 100% cotton made in China, not a guarantee of ability. I think if you could only train two times a week, I think the biggest thing you could do is make a goal for yourself. So make a goal for your training in the sense that you're looking to get a certain thing out of the class, whether it's um, start from the bottom and end up on top, if it's to do takedowns, if it's to um, pull people into your closed guard and work from your closed guard. It's setting a little bit of a goal, not just kind of like throwing yourself into sparring without an endpoint. You're not just like jumping in there just to have fun. You're actually like, I want to work on this specific part of my game and I'm going to get better at it by failing at it a bunch of times, but I'm also going to get way more reps at it by constantly trying to push the game that way. Or even just asking your sparring partner like, hey, I'm looking to work from closed guard. Can we start in closed guard? Can we start on the feet? Can we start with you on top of me and mount? Like there's a lot of ways you can kind of use your free sparring to make the holes in your game better. It's just ask, actually asking your opponent for the opportunity to do it. I, I think training two to three times a week is like pretty normal for most people. Um, I think the most important thing is who you're training with and who you're measuring yourself against. Because if you're always training with better people, you're going to get better at defending. If you're always training with lower level people, you're going to get better at attacking. So unless you have kind of like a rival, a gym rival, someone that you're kind of pushing yourself against and always measuring yourself against, you're not going to have a real example of what getting better is because you're always going to be measuring yourself against the people that are better or worse than you. So the best thing I can say is it's not about getting better, it's about doing more of what you're not getting in class to get better. So if you're always defending, you need to do more practice on how to attack. If you're always attacking, you need to do more practice on how you're defending. I would say the best advice for someone that keeps going back to the same moves, first of all, they must be working for you if you're going back to them. <laughs> so it's probably something good, but think about how you could work it in a bunch of different ways. So if your favorite move is a Kimura trap, for example, how can you work the Kimura trap from side top, from bottom, enter into a Kimura trap, use a Kimura trap as a pass? How can you take someone down when they single leg you, use a Kimura trap to reverse them? So kind of expanding on what you're good at, where can you find it in other ways? If I'm good at an arm bar, I can find an arm bar from bottom side. Like it does exist, for an arm bar there. It's just I have to find the opportunity to do it. So if that's what I'm good at and I want to get better at it, I can. If I'm finding I'm always trapped in the same cycle and I can't get out of doing the same moves, well, take those moves off the table. Be like, I'm not allowed to do arm bars anymore. I, can't, I, I get arm bars every class. From now on, for the next month until the end of the month, I'm not allowed to take arm bars. What else is available now? Way of BJJ.